Hey everybody, this is Nick, and we are at the Imagine Palladium Theater in downtown Birmingham, and I just got done seeing the new Doctor Strange film. And uh, you know, a lot of people aren't too familiar with this character, like Ant-Man, this is a Marvel character, part of the Marvel Universe, Spider-Man, the Avengers, we all know those guys. But who's this Doctor Strange? Well, Doctor Strange was the fifth superhero created by Stan Lee in the early 60s, and he created this character along with Steve Ditko. Now this pair also created a guy you might have heard of named Spider-Man. These early Stanley Steve Ditko stories are classics. In fact, Steve Ditko was actually more the brains behind this than Stan Lee. And over the years, they've tried to bring this character into the media. There was a, in the late 70s, when Lou Frigno had his great Hulk TV show, there was also a short-lived Spider-Man show, a couple of made-for-TV Captain America movies, and there was a Doctor Strange made-for-TV movie. It only aired once. I remember seeing it as a kid, and it scared the hell out of me. All kinds of crazy magic stuff. The special effects were of their time, but you can see this movie on YouTube, and it's a little rough, but it's very entertaining, even though Doctor Strange does have a 70s fro. And then Marvel brought the the character back again in an animated film. What was that? Dormammu. He is coming. The creatures move with increasing confidence. Dormammu's influence grows stronger. Where is it now? As far as the movie goes, as a fan, as a lover of the classics, I thought the movie did everything just right. It reminded me a lot of the first Iron Man film. It hit all the right beats, it was perfectly cast, and it set up a great franchise for the future. I don't want to give any spoilers, but definitely you know that he is in the Marvel Universe, even in this first film. 